day 12 of the Bailey's Do Disney Orlando vlog series. Today we're off to Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. We are already out here. We um, we normally do the vlog in the room to say good day everyone, but today we didn't. We weren't really rushed. Um, we had a bit of a chilled morning. Um, went down for some coffee, etc. Got ready. But uh, yeah, we're at Hollywood Studios now. We're going to go in and spend the day before this evening. We're going to hoop de doo aren't we, sir? Hoop de doo Can't wait for that one. I just fueled up the car, which was. Uh, it's always good to fill up the car in America. So it was completely empty and it cost, it's about 32 pounds in UK money. I think it's about $3 something a gallon over here. And then you hear American people speaking as well and they always go, oh, the fuel over here is so expensive. And it's like, yeah, you get, to sell, get yourself to UK, mate. And then you realize what expensive fuel is. Also, something else that was really interesting is that every, of the 12 pumps that were at 7-Eleven, every single one of them were unleaded. There wasn't a single diesel one. Why is that? Like, like, why is there no diesel at the pumps? If you know, comment down below because, uh, yeah, just it baffles me. Like um, when we were here about 10 years ago, there was diesel on the pumps because I was like, oh, which one do I put in? And luckily the nozzles only fit, diesel would only fit diesel cars and petrol would only fit petrol. But today there was no option. So I just gambled in for what, it's got to be petrol or unleaded. So you come from security over there and then you go through here to scan your bands. And then once you scan your bands, that's you into the park. No, I don't think you can see, but as soon as you scan in, your magic bands start lighting up. So that's one thing I wanted to say as well. You, we use our magic bands to scan into the park and then fingerprint. You don't have to. If you don't want to buy a magic band, you don't have to. You can use your card to pay for. And yeah, or or you can just use your phone. You don't need to pay for the magic band. The magic band. just dead on stop right in front of me, and he took him out. I just got taken out by a man in a motorized vehicle. I didn't even see it coming. Um, yeah, so you don't have to buy magic bands if you don't. Does it smell good? It smells of strawberries. It actually does smell like strawberries. Sniff it. No, the belly. Oh, oh he does, yeah. Oh, he's only $30, but you can get me you. Spirit jersey. Do you like it? I love it. So we just found this spirit jersey. It's a kid size one, which we didn't see last year, and it was $55. So we've got you that. Page first spirit jersey so guess who else is getting a spirit jersey when we get to Walt Disney this guy this pin board is awesome it's the best oh, wow. little chip pin we were just um, next door buying Paige's spirit jersey and the woman said have you popped into the photo pass so if you like pin trading come into the photo pass um, which is the Photoshop and this pin board is huge so if you go to a lot of the um, pin trading stands, they'll actually um, mark on the map where the locations are for you. Um, they'll do that in every park, so it just means you can then, if you're not just looking around randomly finding pins, you actually know where to go for the pins, which is pretty cool. What is your ritual? Being a cake pop and then sitting where? At the fountain. She loves coming to the fountain with her cake pop and just sitting down <laughs> and relaxing. With a, with a cake pop and frappe. Although well, that isn't her frappe, that's mummy's frappe. Caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino from Starbucks in US is next level. Yeah. It's the only one that I like. So yeah. I don't like coffee, but I like yeah. the buzz that coffee gives me. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this one here. I'm joking. I thought you were going to kick off with me trying it. I didn't even say anything. No. I do like it. It was a really good coffee. Hey, Joe, was your cake pop? Superb. Mummy, how's your frappe? Amazing. Amazing. It's a... Amazing as always. Yeah? I've eaten that by Honestly, what, is there a better thing than drinking a Starbucks walking down a Disney park? Mm -hmm. It doesn't get much better, does it? <laughs> that sort of content is what people want to see. They want to see the real Callum Bailey. Not the... Sorry. That's you. This is you. This is the fun kid everyone knows. She put a Hollywood Tower of Terror pin. How cool is that? Amazing. It's incredible, isn't it? You love it, it's going what on straight in your say? land. 
It says the Hollywood Tower of Terror, and then you got Chip and Dale dressed up. How I'm cute do they look? Key. I'm holding a little key. Look at the bag. Is that you? It's you! Oh, lift the pumpkin up. Watch. Amazing. You love them, don't you? Biggest Chippendale fan. In Hollywood Studios, there's a little character control stand right here. Just before you get to um, Tower of Terror, and we always look past it. And they do, they do pet tunes, which are like cartoons of your dog. So we uh, we paid to get Riley done, and we can't wait. Good name for a dog. So, what does Captain Grace now like to do? Sleep, eat. sleep, eat. Wake you up when it's time to eat. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You just that's. Does it lick your nose too? Yeah. That's my dog. I, I haven't figured that one out yet, but I'm like, I hope uh, this is a good thing. How incredible! <laughs> Thank you so much, Jerry. That is honestly amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it, gang. to see Ariel. How amazing was that? Amazing. It's amazing. It's just down there as you uh, go past Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, turn to your right on your way to Toy Story Land, um, just in there, the theatre, that's where um, Ariel meet and greet is and it was incredible. It was just a walk on, there was no queue. It was. I said to the lady, why is there no queue? And she said, oh, it's just not a busy day. Uh, I don't know if it's the location or whatnot, but it was amazing. Um, so yeah, you loved that, didn't you? But here we are now. Walking towards Toy Story Land because we're going on Toy Story Mania, I've got the name of it. I've still got trauma from it from last year when they got sick on it. Callum. Callum. Ah. Nearly next time. Yeah. You, you'll get me next time. This is so much fun, this one. Oh, best in the vehicle, 153. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the best in the vehicle. So some people are smashing this. How do we do? I did terrible. You no, did you great. did amazing. You did really good. Callum got um, 99,000, which is a respectable score. It doesn't matter who won either, does it? No. Yeah. Kind of does, does it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It doesn't matter who won. Um, we love that ride. Callum is going to beat me next time, guess though. What? Guess who doesn't feel sick this time? This guy. If you watched our Orlando vlogs last May, you'll know that that ride absolutely ripped me off. Hi. 
it did um did nothing good for me whatsoever i got motion sickness so bad that it ruined my day basically kind of felt sick coming off it and then instead of going i need to rest i don't feel great i went and drank a whole thing of blue and green milk and then went on smugglers run and then went on rise of resistance and then had to basically lay down and sleep in Toy Story Land for about an hour to feel a bit okay. We've just stopped some food at, um, is it Sunset Boulevard? I don't know, I've just made that up. Catalina Eddies. Catalina Eddies, it's just before you get to Tower on your left. Um, just to keep us sticking over because we've got food tonight. But we just went for a margarita pizza. Yum yum. Um, some of these breadsticks, which I've just dropped a bit of water on, so I asked for some, uh, to basically if I can just buy some more. So and she just gave me. Soggy. They got all soggy. <laughs> that's an inside joke, they won't understand what that means. But yeah, they got all soggy. Um, oh, soggy. And then um, they gave us some free ones, and then we got a bit of salad with it. And this is coconut toffee uh, blondie, is that right? Yeah. It looks incredible. The food at this place is really good. Like, really, we haven't even eaten the blondie yet, which is the thing I'm looking forward to the most. Pizza, we got the margarita pizza, was phenomenal. And these, um... It's good, doesn't it? I'm enjoying it. These breadsticks, like... They're like, like the Olive Garden. They're like the Olive Garden breadsticks. Exactly what I was about to say. Paige, try the breadstick. They're good, aren't they? Mm. Really good. I might come in Nando's when they come over and say, is everything okay with your food? And you've got food in your mouth. Mm. We've got the toffee and coconut blondie here. Um, it's been on my list for a while. I've got a list that's quite long, but this is one of the things I really wanted to try. So we're going to share it, but I'm going to just break off a bit. In fact, I want to get a better bit than that. I want to get the centre. It's a bit, a bit more gooey. If you like coconut, toffee, blondie, and they're your flavours like they are mine. That is incredible. That's nice. That's up there now. I think that might be my favourite. That's up there with the um, pineapple. Upside down pineapple. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? I took it. I guess it's mine now. Oh, I guess it's mine again. No, I'll cut it up for us. Mm. Is it good? Good? Very crumbly. Very crumbly. Very yummy. Very yummy. Collected the goods. Our little uh, character couture from a variety pop. Honestly, could not love this anymore if I tried. Just for reference, so the head only, this is the same about, um, with, with, I was about to say with humans, but, but yeah, with adults or any character couture, humans or um, pets, head only is $35, head and body is $45, and then we opted to get a frame with it. The frame was $20, which I think is relatively cheap really for a frame, especially when we want to take it back and not damage it, because we've done it previously where we've not bought the frame. And then when you get back, you have to like put it under a few books to get it flat again. So this means you don't have to bother with that. So it's good. So it was fifty-eight dollars um, all in after tax, which is I think is fantastic. Honestly, that's going to show up on our wall next to the um, portraits we've got done of Callum in two thousand and fourteen and Paige last year. So we were just doing um, some pin trading because we love it as we were leaving the park, and this kind gentleman Edward has just um, has basically just gifted us loads of pins and, and just yeah just said have a magical day you can keep these you can either trade them or keep them um so I, i'm actually in shock yeah. that's been such an amazing little moment there we've got a picture of him as well so um we'll chuck the picture in now how amazing so let's look what we've got yeah. i think mummy's found one already there's a lion king one which mummy's collecting lion king one there's, oh, there's a stitch there's a stitch oh, oh wait i don't think i have that one you don't have that one there's a stitch there's a lion king there's a there's a cool Mickey Mickey one that I really love. Yeah, little Tinkerbell, little Stinkerbell like Paige. Hey! <laughs> oh, there's a Aladdin one, like a tie, a Jafar. How cool is that? You got Oogie Boogie, Jack Skeleton, Zero. How cool is that? We've just arrived at um, Fort Wilderness Lodge because you have to park up at Fort Wilderness and then get a bus over um, to hoop de doo So we're gonna jump on the bus now. Just found the biggest pine cone she's ever seen. How big is it? It's bigger than your head. So this is the uh, the range um, from Wild Fort Wilderness. Lots of Chippendale stuff. So you've got mugs, ornaments, teddies, t-shirts, photo frames. 
Oh, it was all over. <laughs> it's incredible. If I had to pick a resort that I would say is me, it's this place, like all campsite, um, s'mores, all the outdoorsy stuff. It's amazing. However, we've never stayed here. A lot of people come here. You can actually bring your, if you're from America, bring your RV camp here and uh, yeah we just drove past and all these RVs all decorated with Halloween decorations it's awesome um, so the reason we're uh, Wilderness Lodge as you would have heard this is where Hoop De Doo is that's where the, the dinner show is tonight so you have to get to the Wilderness Lodge and then park your car up and then get the bus over to Hoop De Doo it takes a few minutes so we're just about we've got the four o'clock um, dinner we just went across to the trading post here honestly Chippendale everything our page just spent the last of our money on a Chippendale um, pin a Fort Wilderness one which looks awesome and a Chippendale photo frame which is amazing. Mummy and Callum have just come out now they've bought her a present I think they bought it's a it's a Christmas present so she went over until Christmas it's either a towel Chippendale towel or a Chippendale mug I'm not sure which one they went for she couldn't decide which one she liked more she has no idea that they just got it for her but um yeah we're gonna uh we're gonna head into the dinner show now uh, but yeah this place one day I know you can rent an RV and come here, but yeah, one day we'll... we'll yeah, she's ours. She's yours, she's leading the way. You want a job here? Yeah. <laughs> you want to go find the table? Come on, you follow the lady, she's going to take us. Thank you. Thank you. So, the way it works here at the uh, hoop de doo Musical Revenue. The menu's there, if you want to pause it to have a look at it. Um, it looks fantastic, it smells incredible in this place. And then we've got some coleslaw there, some cornbread there, some salad there, our plates here, and the stage is here. You're, you were up on that last time we were here, buddy. I remember. Thank you, Gina. off to a great start the food looks fantastic he's just brought more cornbread um, we've got potatoes beans selection of meat mac and cheese mac and cheese is very good the cornbread is very good with the butter I would say it's the best we've had with the butter 100% the mac and cheese looks lovely how's the show been so far amazing so the cornbread with this butter on it right here is the best cornbread you will ever try in your life, ever. It is so good. We've tried a lot of cornbread. This is number one, Old Red's number two, and the mac and cheese, and the mac and cheese. Um, what's your verdict on the mac and cheese? Amazing. I have Sarah and Mike visiting from England, celebrating 10 years of love. Thank you, celebrating with us. Thank you. Enjoy your evening, okay? Thank you. Talk about hoop de doo. What did you think of that? Amazing. That, amazing. That, that's the first time he said amazing. I don't know yeah, what. that's the first time Cam said amazing. He's very yeah, it was all right. That was amazing. Was so that good. was a ten out of ten. When we came here last time, I said this. I can't remember. It was four, 2014, 2016. We did it. I said that was the best thing amazing. we've ever done. And now we've come back. It is, I think, on day 12 or day 11 today, and it's the number one thing we've done. So it was incredible. It was incredible. Food was amazing. The show's amazing. The atmosphere is amazing. Um, highly recommend it. If you can do hoop de doo that is the best thing. Out of all the character interactions, it's not a character, it's a, it's a show. It is the best thing. Anyway, we're on our way to um, have a s'mores now with um, with Chippendale. So that page doesn't know that yet, but we are going there. We're still in Fort Wilderness, and this is how they decorate the RVs where they stay, basically. It's incredible. How amazing is this? Mickey pops out. Yeah, I know. Mickey, well, I think Mickey might have deflated a little bit. 
Nice. How incredible is this? He popped up. Whoa! Oh my god! Look, he's popping up. Oh, Mickey's popping up. Oh, he does pop out. Oh yeah. He's coming up to say hello. He comes out, jumps out. Boo! This is incredible. How amazing is this? Paige, how incredible is this? Amazing. Oh my days. It's not chipping down though. No. It's not chipping down, no, but... After leaving um, Hoop De Doo, which was incredible. I genuinely cannot get over how good that was. We had the four o'clock showing. We got out of there. Was it about half past five? What time is it now, sir? might have been closer to six o'clock so anyway we got out the hoop to do about an hour and a half two hours it was it was a great show great food great entertainment everything was great um, then we jumped on a bus and came over to the meadow trading post if you've got kids uh, who are huge Chippendale fans like pages I'm a bit annoyed actually a bit I don't know if noise the right word that we've not come here sooner it's amazing for Chippendale you go in the shops there's Chippendale everywhere Chippendale Pins, Chippendale cups, Chippendale clothing, Chippendale flower pots, everything's Chippendale. It's amazing. So if you have got little kiddos or adults that are Chippendale mad, come over to uh, Fort Wilderness, um, have a look around, and then we've come over to the Meadow uh, Trading Post where there's an outdoor um, at 7 pm, so shortly there's going to be some fun start. Um, and we've got tonight, I think we've got Goofy's Bingo, and then they put a film on in the theatre is right in front of me here and then you can see the seating and then in about an hour and a bit we've got um it's called campfire sing-along with chip and dell so chip and dell page hasn't got a clue yet so chip and dell come out come out and you you make s'mores by the campfire um and i believe that is it every day or is it just two two days a week sir do you know it's wednesday to sunday wednesday to sunday 8 p.m so sometimes 7 p.m depending on yeah, so do do look it up and it is on is online. Yeah, let me show you actually first of all. How cool is that t shirt? We literally we never see Chippendale stuff really anywhere. But we just found that. No we do. No no in Primark it's all adults. Oh yeah we see adult stuff. All kids come in. Yeah, we just found this in the shop. No, it's I'd really rather cute. be I'd rather be canoeing. So we but saw it's got Chippendale on it, yeah. so who cares what they're and doing? And it's yeah, it's great. It's it's good quality. Like all Disney uh, merch is really good quality. It's got Fort Wilderness on it. Yeah, the, on the uh, sleeve it says Fort Wilderness, I don't know if you can see that. And it was 26, was it? 26.99. 26 so quite expensive for a t-shirt, but it's got right. Chippendale. Nothing's right. cheap in Disney. Um <laughs> and also of it a reminder of tonight, which I think is really yeah. cute. And that's the thing about the pin. Yeah. yeah. We bought we bought Callum two t-shirts in Walmart the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, we got him Ooh. some. Just because um, we're struggling to well we were struggling to find clothes that fit yeah. him that would Disney. Now what we're gonna do is split it right down the middle. This is gonna be team Dan! You guys can do louder than that, and that is going to be Team Chip! Did you hit? So that's where they do the uh, quiz over there. We're doing a quiz with Chip and Dale, it's a uh, guess who, villains, um, which is incredible. And then behind me, this van here, they sell small kits, which is $10, and I'll show you so what you get them The out. kit we've just got is 20 marshmallows, mayor, two chocolate bars, I don't know how many biscuits there, but quite a few and then two sticks for ten dollars so it's pretty good hold it tight good i am from england
So if you've seen this gift shop before, it's very iconic. It's, it's one that you can't really miss. Well, Staybridge Suites where we're staying is right next door. So we're gonna have a have a look in there, see what uh, merch they've got for a lot cheaper than you get in the parks. So one thing I have said on a previous vlog is that if you do want to start pin trading but not have, don't have any don't have any pins top tip would be to order some off ebay you get a pack of i don't know how many it is but you get about 20 or 30 in a pack for 20 dollars say or 20 quid might even be less than that but it's cheap and then you can bring them with you and then just pin trade at all the uh all the pin trading stations on in um in the parks however second best option in my opinion is to come to a shop like this and like Callum's seen here you get pins, there's four there. These ones are $17. Four pins in the park, you're looking probably close to $40, maybe 50. But there are cheap ones, so you can get something like, what's that? Baby Yoda ones. Oh, Yoda ones. $25 for 10 pins, say. So that's cheap, $25, 10 pins. Come in here, start your holiday, take them, and that will get you going. It's something I wish we had known before we came last May and spent so much on a pack of, I think it was a pack of six uh, Marvel pins for about $30, which is the cheapest we could get in, in the park. And that is really cheap for for pins in the park. Another thing I've said as well um, is a lot of people will try to get like Disney t-shirts, etc., or Universal t-shirts before they come out here by Primark's number one place. There's some in Tesco, Asda, etc. However, if you can't find anything that you like, don't don't fret because you can go to Walmart, Target, um, place like that, and this is probably the best place to go. Tonight has been absolutely yeah. incredible, hasn't it? The whole day's been incredible. Yeah, lots of fun. So, stand with you, Pager Pops. What's um, your highlight of the day been? Hoop de doo and Chip and Dale spending time with my family. Hoop de doo, seeing Chip and Dale and partying with Chip and Dale and having lots of fun and spending time with your family. That sounds perfect awesome. highlight. About you, Callum, what's your highlight been? Hoop to you. Yeah, that yeah. was a lot of fun. What about you, Sarah? Hoop to do. Hoop to do. So thank you for joining along for today. Um, it's been an absolutely incredible day. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've got planned tomorrow. What's tomorrow's day? Last it's our day. last day. It's it is our, our last, last day. full day. Yeah, it is. Uh, we've yeah. got in the morning. We've got Magic Kingdom. We're gonna see Riley. And then, yeah, well, when we get home, we do. I can't wait to see little Riley Bomb. Riley Bomb. Um, yeah, Magic That's Kingdom. Fun. Magic Kingdom in the morning and then in the afternoon, evening, we've got Epcot. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. What have they got to do, Paige? Like and subscribe. Do all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification thing, do all the good stuff. Bye, guys.